Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. We start here with chapstick. The crazy just because I am sometimes, I do things and be like, what the hell was I doing? Or why did I do that? Or I'll be saying something, lose my train of thought. I'll, or I'll just do something just like really goofy. And it's just like, what? The troll because there's no such thing, but that's just my way of making fun of the beauty community where they say everything needs to be perfect, flawless, cover everything up, change your features, chisel your face, slim your nose, you know, all of that stuff. And so for me, enhance your features, yes, if you want to, but don't change your features. Like that's, to me, that's no, like just self-acceptance, self-love, embracing your natural features, even though we like to play in face paint. So today I have out my Scott Barnes brushes and I'm going to use them and you can see how I use them. And I already primed my face because the brush I use for my primer is not one of the Scott Barnes brushes. I use the e.l.f. Um, blush brush for smoothing out my primer because the primer I use, the Milk Hydrogate Primer, is way too sticky. And the one time and the one time only <laughs> that I used this for my primer, one fiber came out and I said never again because that is a really sticky primer. I have had no problems with foundation with that. So I'm going, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to go in with Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and pour it into Spice Sand. And we're going to see what that looks like. And if I'm wanting to do concealer, I will. And if not, then I won't, but I'm a troll. So it's not really that important. You know what I'm saying? So my face is what it is. So I put about two pumps of the foundation on the palette, dab it in, stipple it, and then buff it. I have to go careful around my eyes because I'm used to using more dense fibered brushes for my eyes. And so if I just do this all over under my eyes, I'm gonna poke myself in the eye because these are long fibers. But look, look at that, look how smooth and yes, it does even out my color, which is what foundation is supposed to do. But look how smooth this is. And you saw how quick that was with just a couple of stipples and then swirls. Like there's no patchiness. There's no discoloration. There's no streaks. There's no marks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm dipping back in so I can do the other side of my face before this foundation dries because it does dry quick. I'm going to do as much of this in real time as possible. Um, while I'm prepping, I will cut that part out, but I do want you to see the entire process. This is what's left. So I'm dipping back in my forehead. I am being careful around the sides of my face. I'm using more so the side of the brush because if I don't, it covers part of my eye and I also don't want to poke myself in the eye. And this is already drying on my palette, so I got to keep it moving. I also wanted to show you what I was talking about before about my hairline. How even without any product, my hairline in some places is darker than others. Like now that I have foundation on, it did even this out. But on this side, <laughs> and yes, I am like buffing into my hairline as well because the brush is so big. But look how dark my hairline is <laughs> on this side versus this side. And you can still see some shadowing here and darkness here. And even though I am like buffing the foundation into the corners of my rectangular face. <laughs> look at this. And so sometimes it may seem like I have on too much bronzer. This is only just, this is just my natural hairline. Where this side just looks really dark. So if you ever see you know, my tutorials or makeup looks and it's looking like one side is darker. Uh, yeah, my face is just that way. Cause I'm a troll. See what I'm saying? See how that works? All right, so this is done. <laughs> this is dry. This is dry. Look. Ooh, okay. Do I want to do concealer? Not really, but I will. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'll list it below and also I'll put my shade references for foundations below and you can get an idea of if you're my shades when what something may look like on you. This set does not have a quote unquote concealer brush and so I'm going to use 
This is the number 61 brush. All of these brushes are synthetic, so you can use them for whatever you want to use them for. And I thought this would be good for concealer because it's rounded and you can, how you see how I buffed it out, and then I can just take it right along under my lash line. I like that. So I just pat it out, not going up close to the lash line, but then as I'm patting it out, then I do take it up into this area. And so that's how I do that. And this is my first time doing this with this brush. And so I am excited that it worked out. And right, I'm going to go back with the brush I use for foundation. No additional foundation, but just to blend that in, pat that in, stipple it in, just to make sure it's all blended. I'm not going to go in with another concealer for brightening because I don't really care that much to do all of that because I'm okay with how my face looks even though I do like to play in face paint as I was saying. So I'm going to, so that was two brushes down but we are going to use the eye brush again later. So that was the foundation brush, I'm sorry, which is number 68. And we're going to take some translucent setting powder and we're going to use brush number 64. And I have some in the lid, so I'm going to <laughs> put some other brush to tap it off and pat that under my eye to set that. I am loving this brush for this because it places like just the right amount. And then I'll tap some in again. We'll put the brush in again, tap off. Go around my nose, on my nose, bridge of my nose, I just poke myself in the eye, and then I take the side of the brush just to do a, a larger area. And this foundation is like almost dry, and so I am able to very lightly just kind of swirl it with the setting powder. I'm trying to go quick. The reason I still take the translucent setting powder all over my face is because then I go in with the Fenty powders to add some color back into my face and those powders do stick to any moisture that's on my face. And so the translucent powder is just to set everything and make sure that everything is completely dry. So that's the reason that I do that. If you don't have a problem with having moisture on your face or your foundation setting down very quickly, then that may be a step that you can skip and you can just go straight in with your colored setting powders. So I'm going to take now, this is the Fenty setting powder in honey, and I'm gonna put some in the lid. I'm gonna take this humongous brush. This is the number 67. <laughs> and I'm going to swirl this around Sorry for the noise and the cat. Tap it off and then just pat it all over my face and then go back and just buff it. I usually don't take it under my eyes and I forgot because sometimes this does make my under eye discoloration look darker because this is a powder that's not translucent. That was super fast and there's too much powder. So even though I laughed at how big this brush was, I love that brush. I, I love it, I love it. All right, we're gonna go in with Nutmeg, the Fenty powder and Nutmeg. And we're going to go in, I wonder, I wanna use this brush, but the the lid is so small. All right, so I'm going to smoosh the brush in here. That's a lot of powder, and this is a, a dark powder. I use this for bronzing slash contour, and hopefully it'll work for this. I haven't used it for this yet. I have used it for, I think, just to lightly just buff my entire face after everything was done. 
And so this is experimenting, seeing what I can use these brushes for. The eye brushes, sorry for the noise, I already know what I use those for. And so this is for me to get a feel for what I can do with the face brushes. This is working well for this. This is working really well for this. And it does say it is for like a very light dusting of powder. And I'm going wide down here because I'm doing under my chin. But along the jawline, I am using the tip of the brush. And for here, I'm using the tip of the brush straight down and then feather up and straight across the top and down the sides. So I like that for that. I'm learning here and you're learning with me. So thank you for being here to help me figure this out. So look at what we have. Like this is awesome. My cheeks are still looking red. But we're, so we've used the foundation brush, powder brush, fan brush, another powder brush. <laughs> so we're moving along here. So now we're going to use the Scott Barnes number 65 brush and I'm going to use the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. And we're going to, we're going to use this shade here. And I wish this was a little smaller, this brush, but it's not a problem. So I'm dipping and turning as I go to coat that part of the brush. If I had a large blush container or a single blush, then you would be able to go straight in. And so I'm just going to swipe that down and over and so i'm swiping and turning the brush as i go i'm going to sweep the brush straight across and tap straight across because i want to get more color i'm not getting as much color as i want but I do like a natural blush look. So I'm tapping in, going from one corner to the other corner. <laughs> Excuse me for sniffing. So I do like how that looks. I do, and I like how it looks over the contour slash bronzer line. Oh, she cute. She cute, Joel. I'm going to wipe off this brush. I have a cloth on my lap and a cloth on my station and I'm going to go into this highlight shade and we're going to turn the brush we're going to swipe and turn swipe and turn swipe and turn and that's going to go right here I typically don't like highlighting because to me it accentuates the texture on my face and it accentuates the hair on my face um, but since this was in this palette I tried it and I'm like, you know what, it's not really that bad. And I think it depends on how finely milled the powder is and also the color. And so this being golden, it suits my undertone. So it kind of blends in a little bit. So it gives a little something without making it look like, oh my gosh, she has like large pores or she needs to shave her face. So we're going <laughs> to, we're going to put that down. And that was all... The face brushes and so we're going to do an eye look as well um i think i'm going to do that separate so that this video is not super long um so stay tuned for that and i will link this video with that one and i'll link that video to this one so if you have these brushes let me know let me know what you think of the application i'm really digging this like this is awesome for a base and right now i do want to put a lighter color under there and that was the honey powder that made that look darker but we're gonna leave it because i'm a troll and i love myself so you will see me in the next video thank you for watching and stay tuned thanks